production. A heads up about storage unit insurance. If you're renting a unit, you might want to ask questions about how your items will be covered for damage or theft. Karen Stiles of our Call for Action office has more for you. If you're renting a storage unit, it might be a good idea to make sure that you have insurance just in case your items are stolen or damaged. Although the rental company may have coverage if the unit is damaged, in most cases it will not cover your personal property. Some rental companies may offer extra insurance to cover your belongings, but before you sign up and pay for this extra coverage, it might be a good idea to ask questions and check out other options. Homeowners or renters insurance will often provide coverage for items that are stored away from home, but whether you are planning to purchase extra coverage from the rental company or counting on homeowners or renters insurance, here are some of the questions that you should be asking. When are my contents covered and when are they not? What is the dollar limit of my coverage? If my property is stolen or damaged, will I be compensated for the actual cash value or the cost to replace it? Do I need to purchase additional riders to cover more expensive things such as antiques, fine art, or jewelry? Are items that I use for business covered? And even though you might be given verbal responses, it might be a good idea to ask the insurer or the person selling the coverage to show you this information in writing. The Office of the Commissioner of Insurance has some helpful guides for understanding homeowners and renters and other insurances on their website. We have a link for the, these guides in the Call for Action section of TMJ4.com. I'm Karen Stiles with Call for Action. Now back to you.